I'm uh, Joelle Ludovich. I'm Associate Professor in Communication and Media Production, and I'm also currently Advisor and General Manager of WLFR, our radio station. Uh, WLFR went on the air in 1984. We also stream uh, worldwide. WLFR is part of the School of Arts and Humanities and is staffed by student managers, two student managers, and also two community member managers. Well, first of all, I'm a senior at Stockton, and I started my internship uh, this spring. So basically, when you're a new intern, you have to go to the station and set up a new music show. So WL, a little bit about WLFR, it um, provides you with music you won't be able to hear on a commercial radio. So when I came here, I wanted to maintain um, the purpose of college radio, and that was to expose new music of artists that weren't getting airplay on commercial radio. So we just completed a search for a new general manager of WLFR. I've, I was doing it for 10 years since I arrived at Stockton. And we have support from our dean and our assistant dean and our program uh, to hire someone who can be dedicated to the station full time by developing underwriting and perhaps staffing in the future and um, upgrade of equipment and all of the things that are um, integral in keeping the station running 24 hours, 365 days a year, which we're on the air. You know. I hope that, you know, maybe they can make it more lively and fun. Not that it's not lively and fun now, but, you know, always room to grow. Hi, I'm Krista. I'm an intern at WLFR, and uh, I'm excited to have a new manager coming in. I like how the station is so diverse. I mean, we have jazz shows, we have classical shows, rock shows, Spanish shows, and I really hope that the new manager can... Uh, improve on that and, you know, make that much more of a, an important aspect of the station. I like that you can play basically whatever you want, um, all, a lot of underground music and different genres, um, a lot of music I actually listen to they play on the station, which is funny, but... Folks will adjust to the change and have a point person that they, that can be there full time and give the station the attention that it deserves and, and gives the staff the attention that it deserves and the students who are involved and the community members. I think it will be a welcome um, change over time.